Hi, welcome to My Nature Apps. Today we're going to show you how to make a plaster cast of an animal track. And we've got a really nice grizzly bear track right here. This is a front left foot. And what I always do is I carry a Ziploc bag full of plaster in my pack if I think I'm going to be doing any uh, casting. And you can carry an extra Ziploc bag to gather water in. Uh, that way you don't have to carry the weight of the water. Usually if you find a track there's going to be a water source nearby and you can just get your water then. And one of the things you want to do first is to make a dam around the track which is going to hold your plaster. You want it fairly thick, uh, not too thin that it's going to break. So we're going to mix up our plaster right now. We can probably take a little break while I mix that up. We're going to pour the water in here. This is going to take a few minutes. No need to watch that. Okay, once you've got your plaster all mixed, uh, your plaster should be uh, one part water to two parts plaster. And ours is just about mixed. You can just find a stick wherever there's one laying around to mix it with. You can knead the bag with your fingers. Um, I did a little bit of both. And you just want to get out as many lumps as you can. There's really, you're not going to screw it up if you don't get everything perfect. But we're going to take our stick out. I'm just going to knead this a little bit at the bottom. Make sure we're mixed up good. And then you're just going to slowly pour that in. You're going to fill up your prints first and then fill up the rest. And this is going to have to sit for about 15 minutes to harden. Now hopefully you mixed up enough to uh, fill up your entire dam area. I'm going to be very close with mine. So let me squeeze all this out of here. And then what you can do is smooth that over with your finger or a stick or a spoon if you carry one or even the back side of a knife. And you get a nice finish on one side. If you wanted to actually hang this on a wall, you could put a, a bend of paper clip over, insert it into the plaster, and uh, that would serve as something to hang a nail on, to hang onto a nail. And I think I've got about as much of this out as I'm going to get. You have to work fast with this because it dries quickly and you don't want to get it all over your boots. But I think we've got just about enough out. We're going to smooth this out. Doesn't look too bad. Get some over this way. It's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to harden. Now, we're going to let this one harden. I'm going to go over here and cast a wolf track that we found uh, that was trailing a moose. And uh, we're going to make a cast of that one. Now the wetter you mix this, the more longer it's going to take to harden. But actually, the better it is. If you mix it wet, you've got a little time to work with it. And that's it for now. We'll see you back when we pull the, the cast out and uh, see how it came out. Okay, we've been about uh, 20 to 25 minutes now. We've been letting this one dry. It's still fairly wet. We mixed it pretty wet. What you can do while it's drying, another thing you can do is, is uh, just take a small stick or your knife tip and carve in where you found it, the date, whatever you want to carve on that. And uh, that'll stay like that when that dries. Now, one thing I'm going to do since it's so cold, it's only about 40, 45 degrees here. Uh, I'm going to cut this out in a nice circle and clear away my dam so I can get some more air at that. And you're just going to do that, just push that away. And we're just going to go right around this, keep doing it. And the more air we can get at that, the quicker it'll dry. And I'm also going to make a nice edge too while I'm doing it. And hopefully in about 15 more minutes we can show you the finished product. Okay. Okay, uh, we ran into a small problem on this one. Uh, first time I've ever uh, casted a track on a glacier before. This is the headwater of a, a glacial river. The glacier is only about, let's get a shot of it. The glacier is only about a quarter of a mile, an eighth of a mile away from me. And uh, this silt flat is just not letting my plaster dry out too much. So what I've done is I've tunneled under all the dirt, left enough on here. Because this is still pretty, if you check that out, I can still flake that off. And uh, I've tunneled the pout right out underneath that as carefully as I could. And I'm going to pick this whole thing up, bring it back with us, get some heat to it, and then we'll show you later on um, if we can pull it apart from that dirt once it dries really good. So we'll show you later on the finished product. Sorry we didn't have it for you now, but I can't control the temperature and my first time on a glacier. Mindy Traps, check us out. We'll be back in a little while. Okay, we uh, spent the night last night around the campfire uh, scraping off all the silt. 
that glacial silt is really sticky stuff. It took me probably about an hour to get most of it off of this track. But you can see there's our cast. It's a beautiful one. There's your heel pad. Here's your five toes. And this is a left foot. It would go this way. This big toe is on the outside of the foot. And here's your claws. Right here. Five claws. That's a great looking cast. It's about seven to eight inches wide right there. Now you could just wash this off. You're not gonna, the plaster's hard now. It's not gonna uh, get soft if you get it wet. You could stick that right in the river here and just scrub some of that off. It'll take you a while. I prefer to actually have mine, you can see where it's getting a little white. I prefer to have mine with the dirt on there. And this is the glacial silt. Um, kind of a neat souvenir with that silt on there right from where I made it. And that's where I'm gonna keep mine. You can see the back. There's our engraving from yesterday. So you know it's the same cast. And uh, we had a good time making it. It's a great thing to do with kids, spinning in the woods. Um, and that's it. That's our grizzly track from our Alaskan trip in 2011. Thanks for joining us. Find us on the web, mynaturaps.com. Have a great day.